Hey guys, so um, you also pardon me, I'm a little sick, but <clears throat> today uh, my due, guess what it was? Really ridiculous. It was 17. So I was like, crap, winter is now here. I need to switch out my products. So, uh, so I was switching out my products, like in my stash, like between what's in my bathroom, in my bedroom, in my refrigerator. And I just wanted to share with you some of my favorite products to use uh, during winter months. Um, most of these, or none of them have glycerin. Some of them may have some humectants like aloe vera, but uh, it's not a strong humectant for me. Um, but these all work really well. They're very moisturizing. And uh, these are usually my go-tos in the winter. So I just wanted to share. Uh, so the first one I have is... Curl Junkies, Beauty Curls, Argan, and Olive Oil Daily Conditioner. You guys know this is my uh, liquid velvet. I love this stuff. And this bottle has not even been opened. Uh, I just got this at the Abu flash sale because I had run out. And uh, I've been using my smoothing lotion because that one has glycerin and I can't use that in winter. So I switched. I had to switch them out today. So I will use this. I This is my one of my favorite conditioners uh, to leave-in. Um, you can also just use it as a rinse out, but I'm gonna focus on leave-in, stylers, finishers, and sealers because when I, even if the dew is low, as long as I rinse out the conditioner, the glycerin really doesn't have that effect for me. So that's the first one. Uh, moving on, then we got the Oyen hairdo. Uh, another one of my favorite leave-ins, and this one has like castor oil and olive oil, aloe vera gel. Uh, I love this, uh, and I love the smell. It smells like sugar cookies. I just bought the 32 ounce for Black Friday, and as you can see, I still have like more than half of this one left. I've had this for quite some time, but like I said, in summer, I was using more things that had glycerin because our dues weren't super, super high. They were probably like... Uh, in the 50s, so I could still use some glycerin then, like 40s or 50s. And then this one is almost gone, but I just ordered the 16 ounce for Black Friday, the Darcy Botanical Pumpkin Seed Curl Moisturizing Conditioner. This stuff is awesome. Uh, it smells amazing. It smells like pumpkin pie to me, and I just, oh my god, this is like one of the best finishers I've ever used. It's so moisturizing and it does have, uh, let me see, it has a protein in here I think. Well that's not really a protein I guess if it's just oat straw extract. Yeah. Oh no, it does have hydrolyzed oat protein. That's where it is. But it's all the way down at the bottom. So it, it's never really served as a problem for me. And every time I use this and put it under a gel, like my hair is just so soft and fluffy. And I love it. Uh, so those are my favorite conditioners, my leave-ins that I use. Um, also, I forgot to bring it in here, but the Curl Junkie Curl Rehab, I love that as well. I have the 32-ounce of that, and I'll definitely be cracking that out for winter because uh, it's super, super moisturizing. Sometimes it's a little too moisturizing for me during summer because it, it's just so moisturizing, and then it's, like, humid outside, and it, it works just amazing in winter. So moving on, um, one of my holy grail gels. This is the first natural or the first products I used when I decided to go natural. Uh, Kinky Curly Curly Custard. I always use this if I am going to be unsure of the climate of a place where I'm going. If I'm traveling, if I'm like, I don't know how the weather is going to be, I always just bring Kinky Curly. It's always like a no fail for me. And I love it. Um, it's very moisturizing. I know a lot of people say Kinky Curly shrinks their hair up a lot, but that really doesn't happen for me. Um, I just really like it. And I love the smell. It smells like vanilla. Another one, the Comaza Califia Styling Pudding. Uh, this has been one of my issues for quite some time. And this one looks like this. It's really dark. And it kind of smells like coffee. Um, but this also does not have glycerin. And it's um, the first five ingredients, water, shea butter, aloe butter, cocoa butter, sunflower oil, um, and a derivative of palm oil and aloe vera. It does have hydrolyzed collagen in it, but, you know, collagen is more of a softening type of protein. It's not really going to make your hair hard. I, I can use this alone. I use this alone a lot, or if I want some extra moisture, I'll just use 
uh, a conditioner under it. I think actually, I think I like this the best if I rinse out most of my conditioner in the shower and then, but leave like a little bit on there just so my hair still has some slip in it. And then I just put this on when I get out the shower by itself and it works awesome. Uh, a new addition, I have the Curl Junkie Pattern Pusha. <laughs> this just came out. I'm going to have to do like a separate review of this. But this just came out uh, for Black Friday. And I really, really like this gel. I had It kind of gave me a little bit of a learning curve. But I didn't have bad results. I was just using so much of it before. And as you can see, there's a piece of hair in there. But get over it. It's like actually almost gone. I've only used it like... Four, four times I think so at $24 and I'm using this much after four times that's a lot but I just realized that I was I was using it by itself so then I felt like I had to use more so then I just started using uh, a leave-in under it and then I was using a lot less I actually use this in my hair today and this is how I really like my hair to look I like it to be just like a natural curl I don't like it to hang too much or be have too much hold and just be really fluffy yet still uh, defined and it's just really soft I really like it uh, I dig it so this is another one um, it's I fully blame myself for using so much initially like I said I was testing it out playing with it whatever but I'm gonna buy more of this for sure because it's cool and it also it doesn't have like the plastics in it and things like that or and it's like water soluble it doesn't have any aloe it doesn't have any protein no silicone no glycerin it's just a really good basic gel and it works well for me so I like it uh, and then let's go to kiss my face upper management gel so I was having a little bit of a problem with this gel uh, reacting with certain leave-in conditioners before but I think that was when uh, I wasn't really cleansing my hair as well as I do now like I think that was when I was still co-washing mostly and now I use shampoo so I haven't really had that problem lately and this is also a great gel no glycerin of any sort it, you just get really awesome hair with this and it has a medium hole you can easily like scrunch out any crunch you have and I just love it. It just works great. And this, you can also get this on the ground at Whole Foods, like eight dollars, or you can order it in bulk from like Lucky Vitamin or iHerb. And it's pretty cheap. It's like I think if you order online, you can get it for like five dollars a bottle. So I always keep a bottle of this on hand uh, in my stash. Moving on, we have my holy grail finisher. Curls in a bottle, love it. Um, provides shine, will soften the hold of a gel, and provides additional moisture over top of your styler. I love this. And this also does not have uh, glycerin. It does have agave nectar. Some people still have issues with the agave nectar and low dose. I personally do not, so I use it in the winter time all the time, as opposed to like the Curly Hair Solutions Curl Keeper, which is what I was using more in summer. So this stuff is great and I just bought two bottles of this because I, I knew I was running low on this one. So I bought two bottles of it recently. Um, I definitely always need to have this on hand. I don't like to be without this. It upsets me. Uh, so then my other, my little mini bottle power punch, my Naughty Girl uh, leave-in conditioner. It smells just like cake batter. It, the smell is vanilla cupcake. I use it in the same way I use the curls in a bottle. This also does not have glycerin. It has a lot of yummy stuff. Uh, vitamin E, rice bran oil, grapefruit extract. What else? What else? Silk amino acids, hops extract, rosemary, golden seal, BTMS, deteral alcohol, tanthanol. Tanthanol is also humectant, but this also doesn't bother me. So, yep, this is just another finisher I use. I always, I also like to kind of travel with this one because it's such a little bottle. It's 4.4 ounces. So, I super love this. And I can buy this on the ground. If you go to the Naughty Girl website, they have a list of retailers for your state. So, don't ask me where you can buy Naughty Girl in Texas because I don't know. But I, I buy it down the street. <laughs> um, but I just really love this stuff and it smells so good. And I also like the 
marshmallow conditioner. That one's good too. So also, in the winter time, I like to seal my hair more. Even though my hair is low porosity, um, I don't want the moisture to be escaping my hair. It's really dry. It can be a really dry hair. Like I said, the dew is 17. Um, it dropped drastically. The temperatures have dropped drastically. That's one of the reasons why I'm sick. My allergies are acting up. I'm not having fun with it, but I'm taking some echinacea, and I'm like totally trying to get back to my peppy self. So I do seal more just to try to lock in that moisture. And I have the Oyen Burnt Sugar Pomade. This has been one of my holy grails since I decided to go natural as well. Um, Oyen was another brand that I tried when I first decided to stop relaxing my hair. And I love this. It, this also smells like the sugar cookies, just like the uh, hairdo. And I just will put this like on my ends. I'll just, you know, go to town or whatever when my hair is wet. So I really like that. Or I'll, I'll fluff out with it in the morning if I don't want to wet my hair. Like if it's really cold and I don't want to get conditioner in my hair because it will wet your hair in the morning and you don't want to go outside with wet hair. I just use an oil or like a pomade instead and just fluff my hair up. And last but not least, this is a very long video. I did not know it was going to be. Who knew that you could talk about products for 11 minutes? Hmm. Anyway, so I have the Carol's Daughter Hair Ball. I actually, I just broke this one out. I bought this like a, probably like a month ago. But I had a, like a tiny bit left in my other bottle and I was trying to turn it upside down to get it out and it would not come out because this stuff is pretty thick. So I was just like, man, whatever, I'm just going to open my new bottle. I was like, I can't take this. So this is another one I really like. It's like in between uh, a pomade and an oil. So it looks like that. And yeah, this is another one I just use to seal or fluff my hair out with. And uh, it has like an old school grease feel, or not feel, smell to it, but I like it. And my hair just seems to really take to this stuff. It absorbs well. It makes my hair shiny. Um, it reduces breakage um, because it's lubricating my hair. And I just really like it. So this is another one I will definitely, it has vitamin D and E, wheat germ oil, coconut oil. Yeah. And it just, I don't know, it works well for me. So this is another one I'm going to continue to use this winter. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I had. The, I could have added more products, but I think that one, 11 is enough. Uh, so yeah, those are the ones that I am going to be tapping into this winter. Uh, I hope everyone is staying well. Don't get sick like me. Uh, drink plenty of OJ vitamin C. Take your vitamins. Okay, talk to you guys later. Bye.